you just heard three different country bends that you can play in any position up and down the neck. That was demonstrated in the key of E, but here's how you can play all of those in different positions. So first we have three different bends. You can call them whatever you want, but um, I've named them after the shape that they align with. And hey, let me demonstrate. So if you take an open E chord and play it up the neck, of course you have your barred E shape. And what we're doing in the first bend, which you could call one or the E bend, is focusing on this triad here. And we're gonna bend this 11th into the 13th fret like this. All right, next you have your A shape. So you take an open A chord, play it all the way up. We're gonna be focusing on these two notes and bending them into each other by bending this 12th fret on the second string up a whole step. And finally, we're gonna take a C and move that all the way up. So you've got this shape here. And we're either going to play two 12s and bend it up to the 13th there, or if we plan on bending it back down, we can start at the 11th and do a full step bend and it sounds something like this. And you get that seventh for that good country twang. So for practice, let's run through those shapes over an E chord. Let's start with this C shape of an E right here. And we're gonna focus on this triad. We're gonna bend right here. Now if you're having trouble getting that full step bend on the second string this close to the nut, you could start and just do, um, just do a half step bend instead, so. All right, next, we're gonna do this A shape. So we went from the C shape to the A shape. Still the same E chord. And we're going for these two notes, so we're gonna bend these two right here. And finally, we've got our E shape, so we're gonna play that open E chord all the way up the neck. and play this bend right here. So eventually you'll just get to know which position yields which sound. So for example, I just know that this bend right here is an E, and if I play it here, it's an A. If I play it here, it's a B. Of course, you can take these bends and slide it any way you know. So if you know E's here, then you know F, up one fret. But really, when you're playing common progressions, um, you'll get a feel for it. And um, and it's, it's cool that they can all work out to be in that same position here, so. And we could run through all of them in G. I would start with the shape closest to the nut, which would be this E shape here, so. Uh, and then let's see here, next we have this C shape here, and that would be. And then finally we have this A shape, still in the chord of G, so. So that's another one I have ingrained in my memory, that that 10th fret, I happen to play in the key of G a lot, and that 10th fret, that double stop bend right there gets me a G. And here's my other one. And, uh, and less common, of course, but uh, still great is that 7th, that, that C bend. So that's how you could practice them and you can get the tab 
below of what I played in the intro, and I'll include some additional resources with some diagrams and tips to help you out. So hope you found that quick lesson useful and happy playing. Mm-hmm.